So as long as we're looking at the rhythmical elements of things, it's a great time to look at another MIDI editor in Logic, the Step Editor. Its strong point is allowing you to work very precisely on a flexible grid. I'll start by selecting this region, which contains a sustained pad chord, opening the editors with my D key command, and choosing Step Editor. As long as the Step Edit window has key focus, your inspector is going to have a new look and some extra items. I'll close my region inspector. I've got something called the Lane Inspector, and above that a place to select Lane Sets. For starters, there are two sets to choose from. MIDI Controls is preset for volume, pan, pitch bend mod, etc. And a set for the notes of a general MIDI drum kit. But you can create your own sets. The MIDI control set contains individual lanes for some of the most used MIDI performance controls. Select a lane here, and the lane inspector gives you a detailed look at all that geeky MIDI stuff. That's one status byte, two data bytes. What am I and what channel? What type of event? And then the momentary value. So, this is controller 7, this is controller 10, and this is controller 1. Any events in this lane would be the momentary value of the mod wheel. So, I'd like to create a tremolo effect on this pad sound. That's a slow rhythmic change to the volume of the sound. Volume is MIDI control 7. We're going to be working on a grid. When you select a lane, the lane inspector shows you an initial grid value. In this case, the initial grid value is 8 notes. Click on the selector to choose a new grid, and the lane itself updates. The preset tools are a great way to work. The pointer tool is set as the primary tool, and the pencil is the secondary or command click tool. With a 16th note grid and a pencil tool, I'll drag over the lane, and I'll create a bunch of events and adjust their height simultaneously. Once events are penciled in, just use the pointer tool to continue to adjust their height. It won't add any new events. It's just adjusting the volume at each moment. You can select individual events with the pointer tool, and of course, delete them. But in order to select multiple events, you can't just use the pointer tool. That just changes the bar heights. Instead, hold the shift key down. This selection mode allows you to marquee select a number of events. One of the great things about the step editor is that you can change the grid at will. I can start with a 30-second note entry, and then, leaving those events intact, switch to a 16th note. All the grid options that we saw in the quantize section are available here, including triplet fields and swing fields, and also groove templates, which are hidden below the screen. That's a topic for another day. So to start my little tremolo effect, I'm going to switch over to an 8th note grid. I'll hold shift to select these events, delete them, and away we go. And see high volume, low volume, high volume, low volume. And I'll change it up for the second half over here. Okay, so there's a custom tremolo pattern, and we can continue to tweak it. But for now, I'm going to segue into something completely different. MIDI time compression. I programmed this pad tremolo before I got into my mute guitar part, which is really a half-time feel. So playing at 140 gives me a mute guitar at double the tempo, and I have to go back to 70 beats per minute. The guitar is right, but the tremolo is half the speed it needs to be. The solution is the resize tool, but if I use it normally, it simply obscures the end of the region, and half the events are not played. However, if you hold the Option key down while using the Resize tool, all the events remain. This icon tells you time compression is happening. All the events remain in the region, but they're now happening twice as fast. That's because I time compressed to half the original length. So I'll loop and listen. Originally programmed on an eighth note grid, the volume events are now happening every 16th note, so they still sound right even though I've cut the tempo in half. In my next chapter, I'm going to get back to the step editor and we'll look at programming drums. See you there.